celebrations marked the launch of the African Society for Laboratory Medicine in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia. My vision is simple, that the laboratory medicine for so long has been a field without a face and a profession without a voice. The African Society of Laboratory Medicine would strive to be the voice for the laboratory profession in Africa and the face of the laboratory profession in Africa. This new pan-African professional body will work for the advancement of quality laboratory medicine. Laboratory medicine in Africa has been building slowly capacity over the decades and the launch of the society really speaks to the ability of the African leaders in the laboratory brought together to establish this network. So it's really recognizing the gains that have been made in Africa and the leadership that is coming from Africa, establishing a society to take all of laboratory medicine to the next step, to the next step of expanded quality, expanded timeliness, and improved patient care. When you have a, a body of layers of stature and, uh, and, uh, and the ability to sort of command attention and to convene and, and put out statements, um, that people pay attention to, that brings a lot of attention to the deficiencies that the lab services currently uh, suffer from uh, in terms of resources uh, and where strength, uh, strengthening is needed. And so when those measures start to come through, uh, you know, policy makers and, and, and people managing the resources and, and health uh, systems pay attention to those and then are more likely to listen to what you know, the, the, uh, the lab manager is saying about what they need. Nous avons évoqué le problème du plan stratégique au plan des politiques et je pense que ASLM We have raised the issue of strategic plans and policy and I think that ASLM can help promote the implementation of strategic plans. We also stated that the laboratories do not have the resources and the state does not have the resources. ASLM, by lobbying not just governments but also sponsors, can mobilize funds and facilitate communication. So whereas we previously indicated so many weaknesses and issues, ASLM can help to overcome these challenges and allow us laboratories to move forward. With ASLM, Clinton Health Access Initiative, WHO AFRO, CDC, US President Emergency Fund for Aid Relief, UNAIDS and other stakeholders will continue to work with ministries of health to raise the status and practice of laboratory medicine in the region. I think laboratory science is essential to clinical care in South Africa because in the modern era it's, it will be difficult for doctors to practice good clinical medicine without making a diagnosis, without being guided by uh, laboratories, without getting results of laboratories in terms of diagnosis of this. In the final analysis, you may not be able to deal with a disease if you have not been able to diagnose it. The second reason that we think is important, in South Africa we have checked checked the cost of health care and found that there are five cost drivers in, in terms of health care. And one of the cost drivers is laboratory services, meaning then that you need very highly trained people uh, who understand the work they are doing. That's why it's so important for us to have a good uh, laboratory science uh, within the country. Aside from South Africa, only 8.2% of laboratories in sub-Saharan Africa are accredited based on international standards. With the advent of ASLM based here in Addis Ababa, it's hoped more laboratories can be strengthened and receive accreditation. This association will help us in, uh, in mobilizing resources, in providing training for laboratory professionals, Again, it helps us for WHO Afro accreditation processes. Uh, it's important to form a link among African laboratory technology professionals. So I think this is a very important idea and it, it will help us. The African Society for Laboratory Medicine is a critical institution that will play a norm-defining role for the continent. It's our hope that this organization will set a standard for both accreditation of institutions as well as create a cadre of individuals who can be mobilized to deliver technical assistance to countries that are struggling to put a capability in place.